This week on Sailing Girls, after leaving the beautiful Obama Marina, our situation quickly became dire. After encountering Tichu's water, our lovely sailing boat quickly started to deteriorate under the pressure of the mighty Bass Strait. Keep viewing to see how we handled and overcame this extreme frightful situation. Hi, I'm Izzy. I decided to change my life and become an apprentice sailor with no fixed address and no fixed itinerary. I sail where the wind blow me and drop anchor to explore places that look interesting. I hope you enjoy the video and welcome aboard. All hands on deck! Good morning guys! Oh, uh, yesterday I slept at 3 a.m. It's 9 a.m. now. Whoa, whoa. It's moving like crazy. My bedroom is leaking everywhere. I will show you. I'm soaking wet. It has been like that all night. I couldn't sleep. And now we go in for another watch. But it's crazy. It's like it's moving so hard. It's so brutal. Alright, let's go see what's happening outside.
prochain good news we burn our gearbox good morning guys all right today i lost my smile it's a critical situation today let me explain to you from the beginning so this morning 6 a.m uh barry come wake me up panicking uh telling me that i need to put my clothes on he needed me uh, at the front deck so uh, we burn our gearbox completely so we can't use the motor the boat was just spinning around we didn't know what to do so we tried to call for help but uh, we couldn't get any signal because we are too far from shore so we decided to um, to put the sail up me uh, to be honest with you i wanted to go back to tasmania because i could see that there was some island on top that we can reach easy but because we don't have any motor we couldn't get to those islands because uh, the wind it's in other direction is pushing us to new south well so we decided to use the sail and the wind that uh, the wind was on our favor to direction new south well we are basically halfway in the tasmania sea halfway from um, tasmania and new south well <clears throat> so we decided to we assess the situation and we decided to put the sail up but the only problem was our wigging was not uh, <coughs> tight enough so we manage it <coughs> we go in the front deck and just uh, uh, tie them up really 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 tight <coughs> we decided then to put the main sail up we put it up but it was too windy it was like 30 knots of wind <coughs> so we couldn't keep it up like the boat was just going sideways and it, it was a little bit dangerous so Barry decided to put the main sail up the um, front sail the one that we broke on the beginning <coughs> but catastrophe the boat really lined over like that we almost lost it like I was that much to lost the boat we can't use that cell let's be honest this cell is completely destroyed <coughs> so uh, after that we still again try to call for help we try to call for help but uh, no response uh, we are too far too far from shore so we assessed the situation and we decided to take the wind and the wave in our advantage and just to sail to uh, new south well and we're gonna basically try to get as much closer as the land and get some signal on the radio and just call for help and get towed away so a little bit scary at the moment we're doing 3.5 knots 4 knots god thanks the wind it's with us and the wave are pushing us we have the first wave on the main sail but it's looking really bad like uh, it's not uh, put properly and um, so let's hope we're gonna get some radio signal really soon and then just start it up I'm done with that trip I'm really really scared I just want to go home but nothing I can do about that so I'm gonna try to do some filming to change my mind a little bit and um, and guys, yeah, I'm just praying, praying, praying that everything's gonna be okay. But if if the situation go worse, I'm just gonna active the heap up because uh, yeah, that's it. Even if we are not in mega distress, still I'm stressed out. So I will put it on. All right, let's check the navigation. Can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found. You're the rose. I don't know why, guys, but 
but I feel sad, extremely sad. Yeah, if I guess I'm a little bit scared, but once I'm sure, once I'm gonna get uh, too sure, it's gonna be better. But at the moment, I'm like, oh, why? And and the worst part about it is like my friend Gwent. You know the guy who has the Beneto. Oh, I love him so much. He's such a great. You know, he's like the dad I never had. And uh, yeah, he have he before um, before I left, he told me, yeah, don't don't do it. Just think about it, you see, because you don't have much experience, and it's true, I, I don't have much experience, and I just put myself in such a dangerous situation. And yeah, just. He was that worried about me that I told him that I'm not gonna do it, but I still done it. And um, yeah, I should listen to him because I guess he know and he just wanted so good for me. It's gonna be good. It's just really scary situation at the moment. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna go back home, see my cat. I'm gonna call Gwent. But yes, Celine, it's not a. You know, I never really realized a whisk that could. You know, for me, Celine, it was like something fun and. You know, like just peaceful but oh my gosh you can you can come across some situation that you don't want to, you don't want to be in it and I guess today I'm in this situation where I don't know what's gonna happen yeah 